Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new unboxing, and this time I would like to share with you the uh, Blackstone Fortress Escalation. So, this is a new expansion for the Blackstone Fortress. Uh, I get that, and I just want to review with you what you can find in this box. So, let's go. I already opened, so I make a look on that. But it's my first time really looking at the books. I just assembled the miniatures so you can see the miniatures uh, assembled. So the box is coming with a, a different, all this uh, is the same as the starter set, okay? So we have the different books uh, and different rules on the different books. So we have one that is the data sheets, and this to be able to use uh, the, the, these miniatures in Warhammer 40,000. Okay, so here you have the Neyam uh, Shade Mura, the Rock Trader. Uh, she's a character for Rock Trader uh, and his Imperium and Astra, Astra Cartographica. Then we have uh, the Godfred um, Mont Bard, who is a Crusader and is Adeptus Ministerum, as we know, an Astro Militarum, so can be used in Astro Militarum Army. Uh, the Aradia uh, Madayan, the primary sickness, is also. Astro, astro Telepathica, uh, Scholastica Telepathica and Astro Militarum, and then we have the uh, Dead, uh, Daedalus, who is uh, Adeptus Mechanicus and Curum Mechanicus and Imperium. So he is not, uh, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's not for the Astro Militarum. And then we have the X101, uh, what is only for the Adeptus Mechanicus, and we have then the Cultist of the Abyss as one unit. So they can be deployed as one unit with all the miniatures that come into the in the box. Okay, so this unit contains one cultist champion and six cultists. Okay, and then says the cultist champion is armed with the uh, stab carbine, chainsaw, frag grenades, and crack grenades. Then we have one uh, cultist armed with the grenade launcher. One is armed with the heavy stabber and frag grenade, and four cultists. And then I guess. I'm just checking because the champion is the one with the is armed with the stup carbine chain and then the stup carbine what is is a pistol I'm just checking ah, no because the, the other one sorry and then we have the cultist firebrand who is uh, in the a, a is another unit sorry for that okay so this guy here it's in a different unit than his colleagues okay I will show you later on the miniatures look like. So this is what comes in this book. Then we have the exploration book. So this is the books with the missions. Okay, uh, this is the book to play the missions. I will not go through that. Uh, I don't want to show you all what is inside. Okay, but you, it's like uh, in, in the starter set. So we have additional missions. Okay, here you have the deployments. And, okay, and here we have different rules so we can make a look if you want we have different different maps the different passages and will not okay then we have the black shrines and then we have the shrine of access the shrine of the case so I need to read really to know the shrine of wrath the shrine of fate and the throne uh, Maliks Okay, here we have this. I'm wondering what is this. I, I, as I said, I was not able to read the book. Then we have here the Blackstone Fortress Escalation. So this is the introduction. So the components that we have in, in the, so is mainly the, the quest for the Black Shrine. So we need really to read, to read this. Navigating the Citadel. And here we have new rules as well. Okay. So the rules for the game, and then we have the explore, uh, explore and the host type. Okay, and then we have this background. So this is all background. I love this one. I think this is really nice. Looking one. Okay. I also this one. I think I will. I will make them inspired on this. And this artwork is really nice. And here we have the other ones. The other we have, of course, the all our push fit miniatures, and here we have all the instructions to push fit them. Okay, very easy. 
Uh, I glued some of them because I think it's better to glue. And here we have uh, the different boards, okay, the uh, balls all are double side, and we have one. So this is really cold and normal. This is French and Spanish. And then they also have on the other side more neutral ones. So we have two. Then we have three, and well, this is more uh, unique in Zagons, plus some tokens. Again, double sided. Then we have these that are the new rules and the new uh, um, spaceships. Okay. And we have as well the cards. Okay. So we have a new card for Obsidius Malix. Uh, so it's Cards Lord Empowered. We have uh, the cultist fire uh, brand and the cultist, and then we have the characters. Okay, so these are routine character. And then we have the the different uh, the four characters, and this can be controlled. I think this is controlled by uh, 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 one of the other characters. If this guy is on the board, this guy is inspired automatically. So here we have the cards of the characters. This is for the turn. Okay, the cards for the turn, and as well the ones for the the. the Encounters with the cultists. So we have some baggies. There are more baggies under. Okay, here we have more baggies. And I like a lot this one. I think these are really nice ones. Okay. I think these are really nice. Okay, so we keep, this is to keep track of when, with the missions of what your character is doing. Okay. I get stuck here. We'll let them. Okay. Now I'm going to um, show you the miniatures. Thing that I forgot to mention is there is also this uh, closed envelope and we should do not open uh, until the throne of Malex have been uh, conquered okay so this is again as all the uh, expansions we have seen up to now some special rules some special uh, not rules um, uh, a mission, yes, Some, something special. So we'll keep it close, we'll keep everything, and now, as I said, I'm going to show you the different uh, miniatures. So here we have the miniatures. Uh, this is the, the, say the one from the Mechanicus. Okay, so these are the, the four, the, uh, or the five, the five explorers, they come together. Okay, in one sprue. So we have in the kit we have three sprues. We have one sprue for the explorers. Okay, so this is the the one the the Leptus Mechanicum one. Here we have the Rock Trader. Okay. Be careful. This is the, we have some fragile parts, especially uh, concerned about this part here. How the pistol is connected to the rest. It's really thin. We have also very thin tubes at the back of thin, thin cables. So you have to be careful. Also, these feathers are connected by a very small. So really, this is uh, you have to be careful with this meter. So this meter is but have a very nice detail. I think it's crisp and and uh, again, worship is putting more and more detail on the miniatures. Okay, uh, we have here the psyker. So this is other explorer again. Uh, this uh, looks less fragile, but you can see. Oops, sorry for that. You can see the fingers. Okay, there. Very interesting pose. Here we have the female psycho. Okay. Look the also the the clothes have engraves, so you can use them instead of doing a free hand to add some decoration on the clothes. 
here we have the um, it's called the guy with the shield. I forgot now the name. The Crusader. Okay. This is uh, this one. The only problem I had to glue the hand that is handling this this the shield because by mistake I cut the the pin and to keep the hand in place. But it's not a big deal. Uh, I just glued. Um, Anyways, again, you can see. Sorry, I moved the camera by mistake. There is some engraves there on the clothes, so it's not that uh, simple sculpt. And we have here the the shield looks nice, and the last one is the servitor. Okay, the servitor also has some parts that you have to be careful. Okay, I just put everything together. This is just all of them are push fit and they connect quite nicely so you can see there is not big gaps and they look quite nice when they are assembled also this guy does none of them have big gaps and I'm quite, I quite I'm quite happy how they connect so this coming one is blue all red then we have another sprue with this guy alone okay so I foresee that if they want to sell this this guy have, will come alone okay so this is the special cultist with this caparas at the back it's very tricky to assemble this one so it's the one that I had more difficulties to assemble uh, because it's yeah it's how the way it's assembled and, and to be fair this material was will not exist if the 3d design was not existing okay and also without plastic you cannot do this in metal you cannot do this in resin and the and it's and there is so many layers especially here around the head that um, even the, the assembly is really really weird and you can only design this with 3D because it's impossible, it will be very difficult uh, to make something like that uh, without a 3D um, software here we have, um, this, is the thing, this is the boss, the cultist boss okay, or the, the, the leader of the unit, she is a female again, very nice hair, a lot of details this method you have to be careful. All of them have some fragile parts, like here, this chain with the chaos icon. Okay, here we have the heavy stubber, and you can see they all connect very well. So this arm you have to be connected with the gun, and just by putting them in the right places, everything is connecting perfectly. Okay, I will go faster now. The sculptures, I think, have a very nice uh, pose. You can see when the sculptures have a lot of detail. Okay, I like this one. Okay. This is the one with the this is the only one that I had some difficulties uh, because this shoulder was not connecting very well with the miniature so I, I, at the end I ended up putting glue and I also used glue in this one because there was a little bit of gap visible and here you will see here, okay so this is the only one that, but once it's painted this gap will disappear completely here we have, whoppa the guy Okay, and the last one is this one with the grenade. So she is launching. Is is a woman? Yeah, she is launching a grenade. Okay, so all very nice miniatures. Let me put this. Okay, and again, this they come in three sprues: one for the red miniatures, one for this guy, and the cultist in another sprue. So what makes me think that it's not going to be easy to see these heroes, I don't think will come alone anytime because they are in the same sprue and they will not create a new mold just for these heroes. So that's all what I want to share here. I just put all the guys. So this is what you have for the Blackstone Fortress and this is uh, what you have inside of the kit. Quite happy how they look like. See here we have the pictures on the side of the case. Okay, so quite happy how they look like. I'm looking forward to paint them and I'm really enjoying painting 
the uh, Blackstone Fortress meters. I think it's a great opportunity to paint a little bit of each faction except Chaos, where you have to paint a little bit more. So that's all for now. Please uh, let me know what do you think about this kit. Let me know if you play or not play, if you are interested or not on Blackstone Fortress. Uh, and if you are collecting Blackstone Fortress, yes or no. And if it's something that is interesting for you or not. Uh, you can leave in the comments below what do you think about this expansion as well. As usual, uh, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!